Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. This podcast is supported by Memberful. As we're finalizing our agenda for CEX, we've had more and more requests for information on memberships. What's not to like? A great source of revenue for creators, ownership of your own data, and build truly loyal audiences. Memberful will help you do that. Get started for free today at memberful.com slash content inc. Very exciting news. My new collaborative book project, The Content Entrepreneur, is now available. Please buy a copy. Go to thecontententrepreneur.com. Go to my joepolizzi.com site. Whatever you need to do. And special news, we're providing free shipping to the contiguous 48 states for the launch of the book. So get your paperback, get your hardbound, all good stuff. Now, officially, this is my ninth book. I published a book every two years since 2009. And if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that this is one of my long-term goals. But this one feels different. This time, I'm selling the book directly. This means no Amazon, no Barnes & Noble, and no any other book site. The only way to buy the book is through my own website. Now, some thoughts on this. You don't direct people away from your site to buy from third parties with this model. You keep them on your site and complete the sale. You need to integrate a payment method with your website. A lot of authors don't have that. You can't rely on testimonials at Amazon because your book isn't there. You need to come up with a way to do that. We're using testimonials.to if you're curious. And you can set your own price. You don't have Amazon and others manipulating your retail price. A lot of people don't know that. But when you upload a book to Amazon and say you want to charge $25, Amazon can move that price to to 20 to 18 generally 17 50 whatever you don't have control over pricing now shipping is always an issue because so many people get free shipping through amazon prime but you can charge a few dollars more for your book and give away the shipping and that's what we're trying to do and you also need to think about your audiobook differently audible starts an audio project from the print or ebook first so if you don't sell the print or ebook on Amazon, there's really no place to start the audiobook. I'm pretty sure I'm correct here. Now, our plan with the Content Entrepreneur audiobook is to distribute directly, not through Audible. So again, this is going to be another completely new process I'll keep you updated on. And you just don't collect royalties like you would normally do. You're running a business here. You generate revenues through your Shopify or sales account. You pay for your expenses to print the book, in my case, through Lulu, and you keep the difference. And maybe the biggest, you get and keep the customer data. This is gold. Every other book I've written and published, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and others receive all the data. Now, since 2015, if the data I'm seeing is correct, I've sold over 100,000 copies of Content Inc. in print, electronic, and audio form. Now, I don't have the data of one person I've sold a book to over that time. And boy, would I love to have those customer names, addresses, and emails to continue marketing to. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the many benefits of selling through outside distribution. Now, most people already have Amazon accounts, so they can just print and ship. Amazon has been a good place for discovering books, at least in the past, and many authors don't have a website to sell from, and most authors, to sell directly, would be selling products from their site for the very first time. And the process is a bit challenging, I'm going to be honest with you. If you are or want to be an author, the choice is yours, though. There may be some good business model reasons for you to sell through third parties. That's the whole point. A decision to sell directly is all about your business model as a content entrepreneur. What are you trying to accomplish long term? And as a final note, The Content Entrepreneur is one of the first books from our new service, Tilt Publishing. Now, Tilt works with nonfiction authors, helping them deliver an amazing book experience to fans directly. And please go to thetilt.com, click on Tilt Publishing if you want to check out all our offerings. I would love to work with you if you're in the process of writing your manuscript. Now, the Content Entrepreneur book 
is a useful and valuable book. I would recommend it to any content creator looking to take their business to the next level, or if you know of any content creators who are serious about their craft, then this book is really gonna be helpful. That said, I think how we are publishing is the story here. It's more important. Now, one of my new missions is to help more authors move to a direct sales model if it makes sense for them. Now, right now, very few authors do this. I believe we're about to see this change in a very significant way. So please go out, buy the book, thecontententrepreneur.com. All the proceeds go to charity, The Orange Effect, helping kids get speech therapy who need it the most. Very honored to work with 32 other content creators on the Content Entrepreneur book. I think it's going to be great. We're going to be doing a signing party at Content Entrepreneur Expo, May 5th through 7th in Cleveland. And if you haven't registered yet, what is taking you so long? I would love to see you there. I hope this has been helpful. I'll continue to update you as I learn more about this business model. And have a great week. I'll talk to you next Monday. Mm -hmm.